Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Bill. We're in growing zone 6B in New England. The guys have done an incredible job with this chicken coop. We did buy it. It's an Amish chicken coop. We stained it and sealed, sealed it. it. And you sealed the inside too, right? Yep. Okay. There's still lots of ventilation, but now the floor is more waterproof. And then I got in there and I threw chips at it this morning. So today is moving day. Come on along. Let me give you a tour of our coop. I'm so excited that the chickens are going to have windows now and they've got screens and everything. There's a little door down here for them to come out in the morning. And Bill and Lib built this really awesome run for us. It's a little bit bigger than what the girls have now. Actually, I think it might be substantially bigger than what the girls have now. Come on inside. Welcome to my crib. It's mostly just a really big space. It's got eight nest boxes um, and a bar for them to brood up at night. So I am absolutely stoked about this. It's got good ventilation up at the top on all the sides. I am just over the moon about these screened windows. I think it's going to be wonderful for them. At this point, we have options. Option number one is to wait until it's pretty dark out and then bring the chickens one by one into the coop proper. Option number two, which I think is what we're going to do today, is just bring them into the enclosure, let them fool around and see what's going on in there, recognize that their food is out there, and hope that they are good enough critical thinkers to put themselves to bed at night. Please enjoy this time lapse. appear to be pretty pleased about this move. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. That chicken is nearly naked. And the reason for that is Zuzu overbred her. Basically, she was Zuzu's favorite. And now we're waiting for her autumn molt so that she can grow some feathers back. In case you were following this, that's Cookie, who is our danger prone hen. Is this good? Is this up to everybody's standards? There's a lot of plantain in here. I know you love plantain. And just for the record, we are Betsy, Cream, Bitsy's the orange one back there, Song, and Cookie. I think this is the happiest I have seen them in months. Really fresh grass and bugs and stuff to dig in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Each of the panels on the run is eight feet long and four, uh, five feet above ground, but the sides go down into the ground about a foot and a half and that's to help hold them in place and keep them secure. The fencing goes down an extra foot underground to help keep the chickens from digging out and predators from digging in. 
and then all of the 10 panels are all screwed together to basically make one long wall down each side. The top is heavy duty bird netting. And this is mostly to keep chickens from flying out and big raptors from flying in. Um, it's real strong, real stretchy, and we put it on very tight, so. You could bounce a hawk off you it. You could bounce a hawk off of this. Um, or more importantly for me, it's tight enough that when leaves hit, they'll just blow off. If any small branches fall, they'll bounce off of it. Oh. And then the center beam is a series of two by 12s that were uh, attached together with a center post. And that just helps give us some, some head height and allows for a nice angle that matches the coop. We put one bracket on the center post just so it doesn't, doesn't wobble in high wind or if anything hits the, the beam, it doesn't crook over. It was a lot of making adjustments on the fly, a lot of adapting things as we moved along. By the time we get to the end, we kind of had the process down pretty well, but uh, it took a, took a few days to kind of figure out everything we needed to do, to, to do and how to go about it. Alas, long live chicken coop. She served us well. They've turned it more or less into the surface of the moon in there. Um, so we're going to have our work cut out for us getting it ready for before Alan and Katie's wedding. Seriously though, the surface of the moon. We still have this structure with the nest box and the breezeway and the end perch. And I believe what's going on is that the guys are going to turn this into a woodshed. This end and the end with the door were the original coop. It was very fairly small. And then we put the breezeway in. And what our plan is, we're going to take the breezeway out, put the two ends back together again, and we'll have an enclosed wood shed that we can stack logs in the one end. And then we can keep smaller kindling and branches and things like that in the coop end. And it'll all be in one, one compact space. Thanks for coming along and touring the chicken coop with us. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. What are you doing, ma'am? <laughs>